Over the past decade, real-time PCR instruments have been developed for users' convenience and better performance in mind. Real-time PCR instrument measures target CT value by using fluorescent signal. This CT value can be used to quantitatively detect the presence of an infectious agent. Generally, real-time PCR instruments required a specific channel to get a CT value. Only a single target CT value is measured in a single fluorescence channel. This means that five channels are needed to measure the CT value of five targets. MUDT breaks through the one channel. One CT value limitation. Now, with MUDT, multiple targets having different CT values can be detected in a single fluorescence channel. This is the MUDT technology's advantage. Using MUDT, a standard five channel system can detect 15 targets and their associated CT values. MUDT is applied in C-Gene's Allplex Respiratory Panel 1. This panel can detect flu A and its subtype simultaneously with CT values. Furthermore, C-Gene's MUDT-based Allplex Respiratory Panel 1 provides infection information of other concomitant respiratory virus infections providing a clear understanding of the complete disease state. This information supports faster and better of patient care. MUDT technology makes it easy to quantify many individual pathogens in a single channel simultaneously. No compromises in data quality are required. Multiple target detection with MUDT technology is as accurate as conventional real-time PCR technique. C-Gene is also the company behind DPO technology providing superior multiplex PCR and TOAST technology for establishing arbitrary melting temperature to identify targets. MUDT technology is the next generation real-time PCR technology. The MUDT algorithm measures fluorescence intensity at multiple temperatures using DPO and TOAST technology enabled assays. This technology combination paves the way for CT measurement of multiple targets in a single channel. To show how MUDT works, we designed two targets using our TOAST technology. The flu A target is designed to emit a robust signal at less than the relatively low temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. The flu B target is designed to emit a robust signal at less than 75 degrees Celsius. Now, we selected two detection temperatures, 60 degrees Celsius and 72 degrees Celsius. These are the temperatures where fluorescence signals will be collected. When we examine the signal intensities at 60 degrees Celsius, signals from both flu A and flu B are overlapping, whereas only the signal for flu B can be read at 72 degrees Celsius. Now MUDT is going to work in this step. It exactly subtracts fluorescence signal for flu A from the overlapping signal collection at 60 degrees Celsius. MUDT then converts the subtracted fluorescent signal for flu A into a CT. In conclusion, MUDT technology combined with the advantages of DPO and TOAST enables the measurement of target's CT values by analyzing fluorescent signals collected at different detection temperatures. MUDT increases the multiplexing capability of any existing real-time PCR instrument without requiring a new type of hardware. MUDT increases the target numbers in a tube up to three times while still providing superior quantitative CT information. MUDT works with any fluorescent chemistry. This can open new possibilities 
for the molecular diagnostic industry. C-Gene Viewer Analysis Package is compatible with any real-time PCR instrument. Use our intuitive and easy-to-use software to analyze multiple CT of targets in a single channel. C-Gene Viewer provides color-coded result interpretation, graph images, and result sheet of test samples. Further, C-Gene Viewer's open architecture is compatible with most LIS software systems for seamless data workflow. MUDT Technology, the world's first one-channel, multi-CT in real-time PCR. Multi-CT values in a single channel. Simultaneous detection and quantification of multiple targets in a single reaction. Each CT value of co-infected pathogens equals to that of single target amplification. Maximizing instruments multiplexing capability without the requirement for hardware development. 